It's the day we've all been waiting for. Copilot in Microsoft Fabric. And today, that's what we're going to tackle. Copilot and Data Factory on Tales from the Field. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Welcome, fabricators. If this is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Monday, we have our MS Tech Bits. On Tuesday, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content from the data community for the Azure Data Community. And then on Wednesday, we have another MS Tech Bits. That's a video where we found inspiration in you, the community, working with a customer or working with a product group. Let's get over that great content right now. All right, I'm in my fabric workspace. I'm going to go to my data warehouse, my baseball EDW. I'm going to get data and I'm going to go to a new data flow Gen 2. When this opens up, I'm going to import from another source. I'm going to select Azure SQL database. Even though I'm using a managed instance, this is going to work just fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in some baseball data. Let me flip over to SSMS and you can see I'm in my baseball analytics database. And what I've done is I've created a database scope credential. Don't worry about all the details on this. I'm going to do this again with my buddy, Dan Taylor. Um, and the big thing to know is I've got an external table going to a whole bunch of CSV files. I've got all the statistics, every play by play information of baseball from 1922 until today. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an external table. If you come over here and we go into SSMS. I open external tables there. You can see I've got my DBO baseball stats just for an idea of the amount of data I have in here. A little over 12 million rows of statistics. So we're importing a, a good bit of information. So I pop back over to Fabric. I'm going to now take and put my SQL, uh, my connection string for my SQL manage instance. The database name is my baseball analytics database. Uh, and then after that, it's going to see that I've already created a con connection because, of course, I've tested this. I click Next, um, and then this allows us to be able to look at the window so we can look at the data we're going to get. Well, of course, I'm going to want my baseball stats. I just showed you that table, right? Uh, but I want to show that I can get multiple tables with the data flow and be able to bring it in. Uh, so let's do baseball rosters. Let's also get uh, dim game location, dim teams, and let's get dim year as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Create, and then this is going to populate. Uh, now I'm in my Dataflow Gen 2. Now my Copilot window is already open, and that's one thing I want you to know. When you start using it, it'll pop open, but if I want to, I can close it right here, or if it's your first time, I can also open Copilot right here. So let's start off with something easy. What I want to do is I need some ETL, so I'm going to take the first um, three characters from my Game ID column, because that's got the home team in it. And I'm going to make it a new column. And I want to call this uh, column name home team. And here we go, Copilot. That's what I've asked you to do. Let's see how it works. It's processing underneath the covers. Oh, we've already got something. Magic. Oh, there it is, home team. All right. so. While this is loading, because I can just go ahead and publish at this point in time, I'm good to go. Um, but while all this data is loading, I remembered I need a dim date. So let's use Copilot to do that. I'm going to do a new data flow gen 2. But unlike before, I'm not importing any data. I'm going to describe what I would like to do. I'm going to copy and paste a statement that I've got, but then I'm going to read it to you. Don't worry. It's create a date table starting with 1922, ending in 1923. Give me all of these fields plus public holidays. Now, you'll notice there's some things we can't do yet. We cannot do uh, create a new query, reference existing a query that includes sample data or lookup data. So this isn't going to work out the way I wanted to. See, it's going to say, sorry, I can't get that because it can't look up public holidays. And I haven't supplied that in another data set. But I could make a date dimension table uh, by saying create date table starting with 1922 ending in 2023. Give me all of this information. And oh my goodness, more magic. You can see here's all the columns I've asked for. And I've got a weekend and a weekday column because, of course, that's important in baseball. Uh, but you know what? I think I'd actually like this to be more of a flag, a uh, bit field, a zero and a one. So let's use Copilot to change that. So what I can do here is I can literally just type in the question instead of having to edit the, the data. Change weekend flag. 
And I specifically want this to be a zero for weekday, and I'd like it to be a one for weekend. There we go. It even auto filled it for me. That was nice. Now, as it's processing, we see it refreshes a little more magic weekend flag. Okay, so my data is good to go. I can just start uploading into my data warehouse and I can have some fun with baseball data from here. All thanks to the magic of Copilot. All right, so what did we cover? Well, we covered that essentially we could create a data flow gen 2 with Copilot. And instead of actually having to change around the data and manipulate it and go through the individual steps of the editor, with plain text, I can immediately get the results I want. That was absolutely fabulous. Uh, that's a huge time savings. Now, there are some things as we saw, um, I need to provide a link table if I want to be able to import the public holidays. And I can't go out and just assume that the model understands what are public holidays and, and how to be able to bring them in. Fascinating stuff. There's some limitations, but oh my goodness, how much easier does this make this? Uh, you know where we want to keep this going? Down in the comments, sound off. Is there anything you didn't understand? Is there any questions that you have? Something you'd like to see? Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending your time with us on Tales from the Field today. Be good to one another out there. If I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication.